Pointe Beach Police have just revamped their training center and firing range. The goal is to help officers with their use of force training. This isn't your grandfather's police training center. Boynton Beach Police have spent the past six months adding surround sound, LED and multicolored lighting to this firing range. It was designed to mimic outdoor situations that officers sometimes respond to on any given day. Uh, officers can feel that they are actually on the scene of, a, of, a, of, a, of something that had just occurred. I was one of a handful of reporters who volunteered to pose as a police officer, respond to a call, and try to de-escalate a disturbance. We were given a long sleeve shirt, a bulletproof vest, headgear, and a Glock handgun that shoots rounds of paint pellets. A department-issued body camera is mounted on my chest and is recording. I'm given a breakdown of the call. So you're responding to the Ale House parking lot over there in Gateway in Congress, okay? The call is about there's going to be two men that are in a physical disturbance right now. So there's onlookers, there's onlookers looking in the parking lot. I enter the scene. Whites and Beach Police! Whites and Beach Police! There's a lot of confusion, yelling, tension, bystanders watching. I try to separate the angry men, back up when needed, and at the same time try to be aware of my surroundings. Without warning, another man who I thought was just watching walks towards me with a gun. He shoots me several times while I return fire. I just had the information that it was a domestic uh, violence call and that I was going to be brought into the front door. And that was it. Boynton Beach Mayor Stephen Grant also volunteered. He responded to a different scenario and had seconds to make a decision. We are all debriefed and talked about why we did or didn't make a decision. The body camera footage is played back. None of us have any formal police training, but police say this use of force training will go a long way to help their officers. When you use sims and you use the real, the real life scenarios, coupled with the lights that happen and the sound and the sound bite and everything else that happens, it will help them in the future because the scenario that, that does occur is from real life from the outside. Police say each officer will go through a handful of scenarios at this training center. In Boynton Beach, Ted White, WPBF 25 News.